and Stacker on a journey to find silver. International Stacker. On to the next one, guys. And this one's from Provident Machine Bearings. So hopefully it's the new bearings I needed for my uh, machinery piece. <laughs> okay, let's get this receipt out of here. Got a nice uh, American Silver Eagle magnet. <clears throat> Thank you card. I love the keychain. If you guys saw a few videos back, or maybe a few videos before, depending on how I update it, I got this keychain here from Provident. The first thing I've gotten like this, which I'll actually keep and use this. The magnets, to be completely honest with you, I get rid of them because I have so many of them. And plus, too, if anyone comes over to my house, I don't want them to see, like, at my parents' house, I don't want them to see a bunch of silver magnets everywhere, right? And be like, what the heck? We got treasure in here. So this is a bunch of face. This is uh, probably either five or ten dollars face dimes. And Provident is amazing. If you're loyal to them, they're loyal to you. So when I bought it. I had, uh, I believe it's, let me look at the receipt real quick. Let me see exactly what I got. I think I got their choice. Yeah, so this is $10 face junk silver, and it was a promotion, so it was their choice of what they got. And I, I believe I asked them for dimes, because I wanted some dimes, because before I was getting all 50 cent pieces. And you guys know dimes are great for bartering, uh, if you get in a situation to where you need fractional silver. So it looks like we got a mix here of nice Roosevelt dimes and Mercury dimes. They're all in great shape. Just off the top of the, off the top, look at them. You can see all the dates. It looks like a pretty decent mix. Um, so yeah, guys, I got finally got a bunch of dimes that I've been wanting to get. And if you guys know anything about junk silver, when you look at them, uh, dimes are actually more expensive usually. So I got a days at a discount premium. And I got a barber dime. Look at that, 1907, you can read it. Great shape. And I got a barber dime, 1914, guys. This is why I love Provident. I feel like they're smaller than Atmex. I feel like they're more friendly, like a more, like, I guess American, not American, what am I thinking? Like a, home, a homegrown business. I feel like they identify with the smaller guy more. And I feel like because of that, they take care of you and they have feelings and care about customers a bit more than other companies. I could be completely wrong on that read, but that's <clears throat> just the way I, I perceive it. All right, guys, catch you on the next one. I'm rich. Barbers.